How you going guys? Sci-Fi back again this week. Um, Jesus, what a busy week I've had. Um, along with work and the weather. I mean, you probably can't see it through here, but yeah. It's miserable. We've had heaps of storms. Work has been hardcore. Uh, yeah, had a lot of blackouts, thunderstorms, yeah. Hos the hospital that I work in kicked on to the generator a couple of times. And lots and lots of sick people and lots and lots of work, even though it was an Easter break, but who cares? I got paid for it. It's all good. So here I am down in the beer cellar because the light, I mean, I could go take the camera outside. It's absolutely black as hell. There's no natural light. That just looks like it because I've got natural light in my beer cellar. Anyway, so getting to a figure that I picked up from my local comic book store, D's Comics, is the Imperial TIE Fighter pilot from the Gentle Giant Vintage series. I haven't picked up one of these in a long time uh, due to the fact that the last one I got, I think it was the ATA2 driver or Yak Face or whatever, yeah, super expensive because, well, the Yak Face one's very rare and the ATA2 driver was a San Diego Comic Con. 2014, but I like this one. I was gonna skip up on this. Sorry, there's probably not much light here. I saw that it was released and went, no, nah, look, I ain't gonna get it. I'm not gonna go hunting down on online to pick it up. But I went to my local comic book store, Dee's Comics. She's a lovely lady. She runs a really cool comic book store. And she even said, hey, sci-fi, I've got one for you, in her lovely little English accent. And said, I've picked it up and saved it for you. I said, thank you, Dee. And she did. Money changed hands. And it's all good. So there we are. That's the Imperial TIE Fighter pilot from The Empire Strikes Back. The largest card from, based on the original one that was released in, I believe, 19, late 1981, 82. I don't know. Just before... Return of the Jedi figures are released. Now, going into the figure, that's the only original. Sorry, I'm going to get a NeuroOBS torch here because I've got really I've got no light whatsoever. NeuroOBS torch that I pinched off one of the sisters at work, just to show. Is it going to work? Yeah. There we go. That's a 2004 Tie Fighter pilot. Not one of the Force on Lee, ah, uh, sorry, Power of the Force ones. Yeah, so now I've got bugger all lighter in here. And that's what they look like there. It's pretty cool. It's the only TIE Fighter pilot I got. I never picked up the original one from the 80s. And he's cool too. He's got some great. I might move him out of the way. We'll do some comparisons a little bit later. Yeah. There we go. Notice how the oxygen hoses are, are moulded into the chest and head. The head, of course, does not move. Just like the original Stormtrooper, Snowtrooper, the AT-AT driver. Yeah, but here, if you look, the hoses are very detachable. Or sort of they're part of they're another part of the figure, part of the detail. Same with the the box, same like Vader wears. That's all. It's all moulded in. Looks cool though. I like him. He's cool. Also, a few bits of dark grey and red uh, paint apps, if you want to call them paint apps back then. I don't know. And the uh, Imperial insignia on his head and shoulders on both sides, I believe. Yep. It's cool. Um, I was going to get to look at his gun. Very strange looking pistol. Very strange. Never seen it before in any other action figure. Very cool. If that exists on any other figure, let me know. Um, I like it. It's cool. 
sucks, man. You know, he's in a, he's stuck in a TIE fighter. Does he need a gun? I don't know. I think every Star Wars action figure has some sort of weapon, staff, whatever. Yeah. He's cool. I like his, his face is all, there's no... Yay, Neurob's torches. These are cool. <coughs> anyway, also the card that it came in. And the timing that it came in. Um, I think only about three of the original vintage cards, they didn't actually picture a a person on it or, or the character on it. Um, this is one of them. Of course, this pictures a couple of TIE fighters in the... Asteroid Chase from Empire Strikes Back. Um, the, I think it's the AT-AT Commander just had a had a snow walker on it or AT-AT, and the B-wing pilot just had a B-wing on it from Return of the Jedi along with a coin. That's a very hard to get figure, I believe. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay. So I'm going to move the comparisons around. Now, what gets me is, in the Empire Strikes... Now, this was released for, for the Empire Strikes back line very late, along with the Cloud Car pilot from Bespin, um, uh, a few others, not Ugnaughts, I don't know, just a few from like the very last ones. But the thing is, you never saw one of these guys in Empire Strikes back. You saw heaps of TIE fighters and some great sort of battles and stuff like that, but you never saw a TIE fighter pilot. The first time you saw one was in episode 4, and you saw a few, and then when the Emperor steps off the, off his shuttle Tidarium to have a look around in the Death, the Death Star 2, you see a few of them as well, but you know, I suppose that's how it all works, you know. But then again, why release him in the Empire Strikes Back line? Then Kenner did some weird things. They did indeed. And so there we go. There's some of the other ones you can get. They're based on photographs from the actual uh, back of the packs they had. I've got a few of them. I don't want to get any of the human ones like Luke, Lando, Luke again. And there's a Luke again, Han again, Luke again. Um, I'm sort of probably only going to, um, maybe get a couple, maybe the sand person, maybe Chewbacca, but he's expensive now. Hammerhead and Walrus Man go for pretty cheap, or for what they are, $100, $80. But I'm looking at that guy, and D is going to hold one back for me. I like that, that's cool, a 2-1-B. And then if you really want to go hardcore... And I've seen this on YouTube, a guy called Star Wars Nut, I believe. A two foot four a two foot tall Wampa. And the thing is the Wampa was in a box. He was not carded like like this. In a box. So probably have a two foot tall Wampa, you know, four foot by two foot. So be about the size of this gaming table. Where the hell would I put that? So I'm check this out. A six foot tall stormtrooper. Life-size monument. And a Darth Vader at 6.75 feet tall. That's huge. Man, I'm 6 foot 4, so I'm going to buy that. But I've seen that online, on eBay. You're looking at roughly $1,000 a foot. That's how much these suckers cost. Imagine getting them for the post. Hell no. No way. Not at all. But yeah. So I'm glad to pick this one up. Never got him as a child. Never got him back in the day. So now I've got him now. So that's all cool. <coughs> Fantastic figure. It's hard to film him too, because a dark figure, dark background. But yeah. Anyway, I was just having a chat with Volcanics Playground regarding music. There you go, man. See, when you pick up CDs and stuff, you get all these extras like T-shirts and flags and stuff. And also... Beer to make. Beer I've made. Oh, beer everywhere. 
That's why it's called a beer cellar. Anyways, I'm dragging into the 10 minute line. Um, I've got another video to do. Uh, I've been tagged in a video for, or for a video to make of what makes a figure great or good. Good, great, I don't know, yeah. Well, I still haven't sort of figured that out. I'm gonna have to go upstairs and do it. Whip out some figures from all my lines, not just Star Wars, from all over the place. We shall see. We shall see. So anyways, yep, gear cell is looking pretty full at the moment. Anyways, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the figure. I like it. I'm glad to pick it up without having to go onto eBay or whatever and pay for packaging, that's for sure. Alright guys, take care and I'll see you all shortly.